X Games Aspen 2023 is right around the corner, and for those of us who can't triple 80 foot kickers, has been so fun. <laughs> there's quite a few sports games out now with a Winter X Games course in it. Riders Republic, a title made by Ubisoft, has an X Games super pipe, slope style, and big air event. Space, one of the custom map creators for Shredders, released a full X Games super pipe and slope style course in the game. And there's a few others out there, but nothing compares to this, dude. I love it. A lot of you guys know this channel was started with steep gameplay, steep commentary, steep top fives, steep videos. My channel name is Steep Steep. And over the years, I managed to log 1,228 hours on this title. Am I proud of that? Yes. <laughs> No. <laughs> Dude, it's a fun game. The X Games was added into Steep a few years ago. It was an added DLC for all the challenges, but the courses themselves were there for everybody to play. They added in this monstrosity of a slope style course with multiple drop in points, loads of different jib features and jumps. It was. That's crazy. The devs weren't going the realistic replica route, but they still created something that was super fun to play. They also added in the notorious X Games super pipe, as well as this new twin half pipe idea. It was two half pipes with a little jib section in between, really fun to sesh as well. And lastly, they have this X Games backcountry event up on top of the Alaska Massive. There is no X Games backcountry event. FWT has that unlocked, but it was still a cool idea. They fused a bunch of jibs and whatnot, kind of a slope style course into some Alaskan backcountry for you to virtually try. I gotta make sure I remember how to play, so I'm gonna do a quick practice run. I haven't played this game in weeks. I've barely played it in the last year. But muscle memory should come back. Or it should still be there. Lift two, back swap, press four. Wow. Switch three, switch seven swap, keep it realistic. Realistic out as well, press seven, easy. <laughs> You switch lead two, little late Lincoln swap again, go Misty five swap, tweak the safety back, go 720 out. I love the seven. Switch lit. That wasn't even switch lit. Pop over. Massive Lincoln swap coming out forward, 720 out. Easy. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, onto the S box. Bone arrow. Oh, we landed 90. It, it's coming back. It, it feels like home. Time to compete. So we get two runs on the slope course. Current standings after run one, S. Klavowski is in first place with 36,000 points, I think. If we muster up some good courage, we should be able to make it happen virtually. Let's pop and switch here. And try and keep it somewhat realistic for you guys. Go switch nine on, that was more 810. Seven swap, pop press, seven elbow and arrow grab with that as well. Lift 270. Mm. <laughs> Dude, it feels so good. Even if you're playing super whack and not going for like a simulator-esque run, Oh, it feels so satisfying. Nine swap on that one. Go mellow 360 out. Kind of off axis. How are we doing on points? I haven't been looking. How's that? Decent? We already had four time multiplier. 22k? I think if you do nose and tail presses, it just wanks up your points in places you've never seen before. 29,000. Oh, doing good so far. I wanted to go 450. Buttering out that last 180 to pop out forward. Nice. Just back two. Decent, okay, let's calm down for the jump line inbound. Let's pop up into the jibs this way. Switch flat three up, grab blunt. Pop over 360, swap, pop down to the next rail. Off into the S, making contact. Oh, <laughs> that was good. We're already in first off of run one. So we can mellow up the jump line. Go big 540, leave blunt on it. Let's go dub flat seven Japan. Tweak it out back, sick. And then dub 12 maybe, two flips, three and a half rotations. Oh. Honey, we got a blunt to blunt on it too. 47,704 points. Not incredible, but it does put us into first. I'm in a four. Four, four. All right, run two. Does it tell me what they got on run two? Yeah, it does. He, S. Klavowski only pulling 29K, still in first position with a 65,000 point score total. I'm actually going to try and really calm it down and honestly, maybe try a realistic run here just because we have a decent lead. Off axis switch. Dude. Keeping us humble with a dump truck slap there on the first jib. Disgusting. 270 swap. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna play like normal here. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier to go balls out crazy on these jibs rather than just trying to keep it realistic. Like if I try and just go switch two, it was off axis and it didn't look nice. Pretz two? Nope. We're only at 14,000 points. Switch lit. To switch? 
Oh, got a little oppo shifty in there as well. 270 up. Front 270 swap. Mm, butter it around to 720 there. Let's go off onto this little side hit, maybe. Oh, yeah, Poppy. Oh. oh. Okay, off into the jumps here. A little bit off axis on that 360L, but we pulled it clean. Maybe double 10, left side dub 10. A little mute to a lead blunt. And then pop around, go. Oh, that's a sick axis. That was almost under flip. Hmm. Okay, wow. 30k for that one. I think that comfortably puts us in the first place spot. It's going to be nowhere near the daily or weekly high score that actual players got, but it still makes me feel kind of good. Next one I want to try out is my favorite event in the entire X Games DLC. It was the Twin Half Pipe event. It rocked, dude. It was righteous. It was the only place in the entire game where you could properly air out and air back into a pipe. A lot of the times with the half pipes in this game, you would hit the coping and bounce off of it. It was... Kind of a frustrating glitch. You're not over here, Rubber Ducky. You were safe in between these two walls. And they also had that jib section in between, which was super fun. Okay, what do we have to do? Score only by doing tricks. We gotta be 34,000 points. Dub nine. Oh, wow, that was like dub seven, late 180. That was sick. Big double backflip, Weddle to a blunt there. See if we can get a flick on this next one. Nice. Trailing Japan on the 1080 there. That's three full spins. I'll oh, keep it in mellow. See if we can go triple. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, that's nice. And then coming off into the jib section here, this is where you want to rack in a load of points. Because you get so many points for doing jib tricks in this game. Nose press. A little flick there as well. Another 1080 down the pipe. Safety tweak on the triple 1620. Oh, wow. I don't know if we're going to be 34. This is actually going to be tough. You really just got to spin to win. You can't make it look steezy, eh? If you want to beat the 34. We didn't do it. That's the way of the road. Sometimes she goes and sometimes she doesn't. All right, next one, X Games Backcountry. This one's also a blast because it adds in slope style elements to the backcountry. I mean, you wouldn't really see this in a free ride world tour event, but Rebel Line Catcher was kind of like this. They added in park jumps in the backcountry, which was kind of sick. But if there was an event that they added in some urban rails or something to a backcountry face and had a contest on it, like imagine like a huge cannon rail off a 40 foot cliff. <laughs> Switch seven off of that pile up of snow on that nip nub. Coming into the tree section, this one, yeah, dude, all the mother nature here is trying to kill you. Golden. Oh, little 180 over this nip. Little lead safety on it, pop back forward, sick. Little butter action, see if we can pop switch into that first jib coming up. Go a little bit slower. I'm gonna try and go switch tail bud, maybe three. Oh, he wanted five, but I held him at three, doing pretz one onto the next jib, back 270, sick. Can you dub onto this? I don't think so. Misty 5. Little trail and safety. Pratt 7 out. Switch lit. Pop over back swap. Back 360 swap. Glitched out of the rail. It was going really well. Always need an element of humility though when you run. Sick. Coming into the first park jump. The landings on them are super flat. So you want to take it a little bit slow. Switch dub 9. That's a nose grab to a blunt. Maybe go flick on this next. What's that going to be? Misty 12. Three and a half rotations on a forward off axis. Only getting a bronze medal, but dude, to me, that was that was gold in my eyes. Last thing, skiers left want to get a full line down, and just because, the, in my opinion, the best jibs on the course are on the left here. You can do some really sick transfers as well. We've seen people go off of this cannon turbo tube and transfer all the way to this guy and that guy. There's also this meaty boulder transfer. You can actually do kind of a after pop technique, go off the lip, pop, and then have enough air time to actually land on one of these jibs. So, dude, maybe, maybe give that a go. I don't have a lot of time here, so we'll... Try and make it happen. Oh no, not even close. Really difficult to do. We'll butter it around, get the 720 up. Pret 7 now is more 630, butter it around the 90. A little bow and arrow to a Weddle, sick. See if we can pop over this way. No, I want to go left. I forget where to go. Lip 2. Pret's 2 out, coming in tails heavy. Yikes. Oh, 180 dub nose. 
720 swap, flat 3 out, little tweak in it as well, sick. Come up left side, switch lip, back 270 tail heavy as well, still locking down the landing. Oh, I just finished up this last little bit here.